Job creators throughout the country are scrambling to stop new regulations coming out from the EPA. In September, the agency is expected to release new ozone emission standards. Critics say industry already struggles to comply with the current standards. The new rules are expected to be even tougher, which could effectively shut down Wisconsin's economy. We're talking 23,500 jobs every year, every single year, lost in the state of Wisconsin if EPA puts out that regulation. So it's pretty, pretty uh, scary stuff. The DNR maintains monitoring stations that check ozone levels throughout the state. If a monitor detects higher levels than allowed, the EPA designates the area as non-attainment. That triggers enforcement actions that essentially halt industrial growth in that area. It is so expensive to expand uh, industrial activity in an ozone non-attainment area that it's, it's virtually po impossible. I mean, you, you have businesses that will avoid doing that because it's so incredibly expensive. They just look to other areas. Right now, the standard for ozone is 75 parts per billion. Using this standard, eastern Kenosha and all of Sheboygan counties are no growth zones. It's not yet known what the new standard will be, but if the EPA lowers the threshold to 65 parts per billion, industrial growth would end in Wisconsin's major metro areas. The greater Milwaukee area for, for many, many years was designated non-attainment. And, and we saw during that period of time, businesses relocating outside of the attainment area or growing outside of the non-attainment area because as a practical matter, they either couldn't afford or they couldn't find the pollution offsets required under the Clean Air Act in order to grow in those areas. So they just avoided them. If it is lowered down to 60 parts per billion, nearly the entire state would become a no-growth zone. If the EPA comes out this fall uh, with the ozone standard, we could see within a year or so the EPA designating um, states as non-attainment or counties within states as non-attainment. Even the EPA admits that there is no technology currently available to reach any of the new standards that are being suggested by the EPA, any of those different levels. Despite this potential devastating impact to industry, the EPA refused to meet with the National Association of Manufacturers to hear their concerns. We were a little bit disappointed because we had some manufacturers that wanted to meet with the EPA administrator on this regulation. and and we were told that, sorry, there was no time for that. Right now, the EPA is being sued over its Waters of the United States rule, which expands EPA authority down to the level of artificial ponds in people's backyards, and its Clean Power Plan, which could shut down most coal-fired power plants in the country. The EPA will likely soon face legal action over the ozone rules as well. And the consequences of this particular regulation, regardless of what standard they set, it will be the most expensive regulation in the history of our country. The Wisconsin DNR declined to comment for the story, saying it had nothing to add. For the MacGyver Institute, I'm Jen Healy.